Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 with the Watson family. So everyone is waking up, it's the next morning after they arrived here in Three Lakes and they're feeling much better. They were itchy all night long. There was also the, the charlatan that came and was just roaming around their tent and the charlatan actually tried a couple times to rob them but thankfully they were they were all asleep so they didn't see anything. Lucy was actually the first one to be awake this morning and she wants to go on a hike and Heidi actually unlocked through her hobby, you know, hobby enthusiasm. She can now go hiking, so I think I'm going to have her, both her and her mom go hiking together. Oh, she wants to go fishing, for sure. Let's go here and fish while you wait for your mom to go hiking together. Oh, and look at that! Josie also wants to go hiking with her mother, so maybe we should wait for her to be done eating food so that she can join them. Do you want to go hiking, Jack? No. Jack, he's not really the outdoorsy type, I feel like. But all the girls in the house actually really enjoy being outside and fishing and hiking. But yeah, so I'm going to have Lucy, Heidi and Josie go hiking together while, I don't know, Jack does whatever he wants. But then I will probably have the family travel somewhere and I really would like to find this secret lot that I think exists in Three Lakes. I'm pretty sure that every single destination, vacation destination, has a secret lot and I would like to try and find it. Actually, maybe we can try to dig up things around here if we go here and we dig a hole. Dig for treasure, let's try to find something, but then we'll have to cover up whatever we try to find. Josie, she's going to use the bathrooms and then just really quickly so that we can accomplish this want, let's just go fishing. Look at that, the two sisters fishing together. Oh. She caught a fish! That's a big one! Wow! I wonder what kind of fish that is. And look at Jack just digging in the background. What kind of fish is that? Oh, she's scared of catching a boot. Jumbo blue catfish. Wow! That was a good one. Let's have Lucy start hiking in a way. Let's go... Oh, we cannot go hiking? Oh, that sucks. I really thought they could go hiking together. Jack has found a bone. It has been placed in his inventory. Great, so we have a bone for... Let's dig for treasure again. So we have a bone for, for Diego. You know what? Let's have Lucy join them. Let's go and fish for using a worm. Oh, that sucks. I'm really sad that they cannot go hiking together. At least, you know, they can go fishing together. With this random woman here. There's always a random, random woman coming and fishing with them. So what did you find? He found a rock. Cool. You know what, let's go, let's go dig for treasure again. What time is it? I think it'll be time soon. What is going on? It's the second time that these two are fighting. In the middle of the night, they started fighting as well. And as Lucy was serving the food, you know, the hot dogs that she made this morning all, all over the place, she saw them, these two fighting as well. This is Alan King. And who is the woman? Tamara King. What? <laughs> They're from the same family, apparently. Well, oh, there you go. They just don't like each other. What's going on? <laughs> okay. Oh, they're enemies now. That sucks for them. Oh no, what did you do? Let's go and fill in. <laughs> Let's cover up your mistake, Jack. Are you really cleaning the water from the grass? Heidi has gained enthusiasm in nature. She can now catch and collect more butterflies and some spiders. That's right, I wanted to work as well on the the bugs collection, I think. But anyway, it's 12 p.m., so let's go and travel somewhere. Do we walk to the lot? Yes, you know what, let's go and walk to the community lot with Heidi, Josie and Lucy. And where do we go? So we can go to Blow Hills Resort, Hunter's Bedrock Inn, Lumber Mill Range. Lumber Mill Range is the perfect place to vent out your sim's frustration by challenging your friends to a good old-fashioned axe-throwing or a log-rolling duel. Log-rolling? After a glorious victory, celebrate with some tasty flapjacks. Oh, I'd be quite interested to go visit this one. <gasps> Smooth Rock Spa! Come visit the most steaming rock springs on the planet. They're guaranteed to clean up the dirtiest of lumberjacks and soothe the nerves of any harried traveler. There's the Three Lakes Cabins, Walua Park, a favorite vacation spot among the Three Lakes locals. Walua brings out the best in the wilderness. We can relax by the grill or just have a fun outing with friends. I think actually that at first I'd like to go and visit the mill. But then, later today, maybe we can go to Wallowa Park. And what's Three Lakes Plaza? Got a craving for flapjacks? Head on in to the Three Lakes Plaza. Here you'll find the best flapjacks in town, whether you decide to dine indoors or 
out, you leave here with a happy face. Maybe later for this one, but let's go and visit, visit the mill together. The family just arrived at the mill range. Anyway, let's see this rolling thingy. What is this? Log roll. What is that? Oh, Jack wants to go on another tour. Maybe not right now. Lucy wants to reach the maximum enthusiasm in nature again. She's going to order some food. Are you really that hungry? Oh yes, she's hungry. Look at everyone dancing. What is this? Is this a local dance? Look at Jack! Oh no, I missed it! Are you gonna try again? Yes, he is. Okay, so I guess the point of this is to stay on the log the longest. I wonder what skill he's working on right now. Can you join him? Log roll. Oh, she was eating something as well and she wants to learn the local gesture. Is everyone eating something? Yes, they're all eating stuff. And so as well, I think there are some axe throwing activities. Look at that! I don't remember how this is called, but this is supposed to be like the biggest and oldest tree in Three Lakes that had been cut down. And this is just as a memory for it. Oh, they can do that together! That's so cool! Oh, I missed it, that's... I need to pay more attention to what my sims are doing, so let's see. Look at that! <laughs> they can try to make each other fall. Oops, oops, oops. No, that's fine. Oops! She fell again. <laughs> the relationship is improving from this. But... Oh, what was she doing? Oh, she just learned the local dance. Oh, that's cool. Can we try to join? Join the slap dance and let's have Jack do the same thing. Join the slap dance. Let's have everyone just join the slap dance and then I'm going to have both Jack and Heidi eat something. Oh, I think it's over, isn't it? Yeah, I think the slap dance is over. Oh, that's sad. Let's go and order some food. Let's get some flapjacks. Jack, you need a shower, although I don't think they have showers here. Let's try to find a place to dig a hole in. Can we dig here? Dig for treasure, because I'd like to try and find the, as I said, the, the map to the secret place. Do you need something, Josie? She wants to log roll. Let's try. Maybe you can try with your mom. Oh, that's a sweet, um, a sweet swimwear. I think it's working on the body skill. Oh, <laughs> She already fell in. Oh, look at that. She just has no balance at all. Is Lucy going to the next one? Yes, she's going to the other one. Why don't you join your daughter? Come on. Go with Josie. I want to see you both doing the log roll together. Jack found another bone. Can you try to dig more? Oh, no one wants to do the log roll with Josie. Come on. Can you do this with your sister? Well, apparently it just doesn't work. And Josie is getting a little bit tired. Can she do the axe throwing activity? No. Let's go and play and maybe Heidi can play as well. There aren't that many activities for children actually here. Okay, Jack, can you dig for treasure once more? Because he found another bone. Jigo's gonna be spoiled once we'll be back home. Jack has found a tattered old map which seems to lead to a place called Mysterious Hut in Tweaky Island. Oh no, it has been placed in his inventory. Oh, come on. I wanted to find the... I mean, we can go back to Tweaky Island. Maybe he can give this map to either Heidi or Josie and we can go back if we have the map. Yes, it's there. Map to the mysterious hut. And I think if the sim has this map in their inventory, they can go to this mysterious slot. But I would like to find the one in Three Lakes. And I think there is another one for Takamizu Village. Oh, he found something else. He found a Tukon Lola statue. It has been placed in his inventory. He finds so many things here. Let's have Lucy dig as well. I might actually have them go back home just to take a quick shower because they're getting a little bit dirty. <laughs> and Jack found yet another bone. <laughs> oh, it's it's getting late though, so I think I'm going to have them go back to to the campground to take a shower, rest up a bit, and then we'll go we'll go to the other place that I wanted to visit. And she found a rock. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is have everyone walk back. Oh, look at them too. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have everyone walk back to, to the campground so that Josie can rest up a bit, we can take showers, and then I will have them all travel to the other place I talked about. I don't remember how it's called. I'm actually going to keep going to that other place that I don't remember the name of for tomorrow because they're just hungry and really tired, so I'm just going to take care of their needs and I will resume tomorrow morning. Alright, so it's the middle of the night and I just got this notification here saying that Lucy has gained enthusiasm in nature once again and she can now, she now has the ability to be in the zone. So I think she's glowing in there. I don't know if you can see. It's very subtle. But that means that she, she reached the maximum level of the enthusiasm, nature hobby enthusiasm and that's crazy. Look at that. She can be in the zone. She's an elemental. Oh, that's so cool. Awesome! So it's the next morning, really early in the morning, and look at that little girl, Michelle Johnson. She sees Lucy being in the zone and she's like amazed. I mean, Lucy is glowing, do you see her? That's crazy, look at her, she's glowing and all. I'm so proud of her, that's really really cool, and I'm so happy as well that she still had the want to be in the zone, or actually to reach the maximum potential of the nature hobby. So that's cool. So everyone is awake but Jack. Uh, I'm going to have him... Actually, no, now he's awake. So he's going to go ahead and use the bathrooms. And what I'm going to have everyone do is go to this other lot that I still cannot remember the name of. I think it's Walawa? Walawa? I don't remember, but we'll see just after. Mm. So I'm going to have them all go there and eat some breakfast over there. I think that could be cool. And then maybe later on we can go to the Three Lakes Park and maybe go to the spa as well. And I like the fact that Josie and Heidi joined their mother fishing together on their own. That's really cool. Oh, what are you going to catch? The fish look really, really cool in The Sims 2, I think. Much better than they do in The Sims 3 and in The Sims 4. Uh, but anyway, let's go and walk to the lot. Let's go to the community lot. You can stop fishing. Let's take Heidi, Jack and Josie. So, what is this place? Walowa Parks. Okay, so I was pretty close. Sorry that I couldn't remember the name of this place. Look at these two, they're still fighting. What's going on with them? The family has arrived at Wallowa Park, so it's much smaller than the other park we were we were at. I don't think we can buy clothes in here, but we can buy grocery for some reason. We can also buy some souvenirs. Oh, look at that! This is actually really pretty! You know what, let's go and buy it. She's, she's in the zone again. <laughs> look at them all. Can you do something with this while you view it? You can examine it. Maybe that's how you discover the the secret place. Uh, in the meantime, can we eat here? We can have a barbecue. Uh, so what is this? Bit of Ugg and Lumberjack's Pride. Can we take both? Oh, we can read the description. So the Lumberjack's Pride, a smaller scale, scale version of the trophy given out at the annual Lumberjack's Flab, Flabjackathon. The Lumberjack's Pride souvenir serves as both a stylish reminder reminder of your recent woodland trip and a worthy homage to the majesty of the a ALF. One need only gaze on the powerful but compact hatchet to imagine a mouthful of delicious flapjacks. Okay, and what about this one? This souvenir geode has been sliced in half and polished to show its shiny interior, which is full of both crystal formations and educational values. Certain people will enjoy the Bidovag souvenir as a learning tool for volcanoes, crystals and geology. Others will appreciate the fact that it's shiny that it's shiny and colorful. Either way, everyone wins. I really like this one. I used to have something like this when I was a, when I was a child. I was really passionate about rocks and crystals and I really really enjoyed that. So, yeah, let's have Lucy buy this. And can we maybe grill something? Let's go and grill some hot dogs. Lucy is just living her best life here. Oh, look at that! Josie, you can come here and you can play on the playground. Heidi, you can maybe do the same. Join play on playground. Lucy, you know what? I'd like for you maybe to dig for treasure again. I'd like to find this mysterious place. But then I will have the entire family join Jack and eat something together. Oh no, she heard a pipe right away. She didn't even find anything. Let's go and fill in before you eat anything. No! Okay, let's go and eat this one. 
She's not going to eat with her family, that sucks. Maybe she'll be able to talk with them from that far. Oh, I feel like she's able to. Yes, she seems to be able to hear the conversation. Well, this route is not as eventful and interesting as I thought it would be, so maybe we should travel somewhere else and discover another place. They're already getting tired, but they keep waking up so early in the morning, though. Maybe they can take a quick nap somewhere. Maybe if we go to the spa, maybe there's a place for them to sleep at? Actually, Lucy is the only one getting tired. Time flies while you are having fun. There is only one day left on your vacation. If there was something you, would, you were meaning to do on your vacation, you better get to it. Okay, we're on it. Alright, so I think I'm going to have them all go to the Smooth Rock Spa. Thrillix Market has it all. We've got everything from denim gyms to good old fruits and vegetables. You even might find that one particular souvenir or collectible mountain jewelry you've always wanted to take home. Oh, maybe we can go and visit this place later. But first, I'd like to go to the spa. The family has arrived at the spa, so Lucy actually wants to soak in the hot springs. I think they're over here, so let's go and soak in the hot springs. She also wants to get a massage. She will definitely get another one. Jack wants to learn a new massage. Tell me that you're feeling great. Yes, he is. So let's go here and learn a deep tissue massage. I think he learned one of those when he was in Twiki Island, but maybe you can learn multiples. I don't know. What do you want to do? She wants to learn the local gesture. I have no idea how to do that. Can we go and talk to this guy here? Greet Cold Flake. Maybe that's how you do this? He seems to be a local, so maybe that's how you... No, they're just shaking hands. Dance together, play... Can you ask something? Ask to form a casual group. Oh, it's raining! Oh well, let's go into the into the hot springs with your mom. Josie wants to reach cleaning level 1. I guess she's getting more and more interested in the nature hobby, just like her mother. Let's go and soak into the hot springs. Jack, in the meantime, getting massaged and learning a new massage. As, as soon as he's done, I'm going to have Lucy get a massage as well, because that's something she wants to do. We didn't encounter any Bigfoot as well. I would have liked to see a Bigfoot. <gasps> oh my god, what just happened? What? She just got struck by lightning? Are you kidding me? How is that even possible? Congratulations, your sim has learned how to perform a new massage type. This massage can be given to other sims if you purchase a massage table to your home. Cool. But what just happened? Is this because it's that dangerous to be in the hot springs while there's a, a thunderstorm going on? I mean, it was just raining. There was no thunder at the time. That was so weird. Let's go and join the slap dance. Maybe you can learn the slap dance as well. I really like that song as well. Hopefully I'm not going to get copyrighted. Did you manage to pee? Oh no, she's peeing herself. And Tish is making fun of her? No, that's not fair. Is there a shower somewhere? You know what? Let's go and just get a massage. Let's go and get a Swedish massage. Pocket full of sunshine. I loved that song even before I heard it in The Sims 2. Oh, there's the sauna, but I don't see a shower anywhere. We might have to go home so that she can... No, you do not go into the hot springs. I mean, I should have Heidi... Did someone else... She got struck by lightning as well. Heidi, you need to get out. But yeah, I might have everyone go go back home to... Or back home, back to the to the lodge, to the campground to be able to take a quick shower for, for poor Lucy. Look at that, she's feeling so bad. Do you have a memory of it? Oh, she just has the memory of the accident, but she doesn't even have the memory of getting struck by lightning. Well, you should. You've survived. That's crazy. Let's see if you can find something there. Don't go back into the hot springs. Are you crazy? You know what? Just join the the dance. Join the slap dance. Did you find something? He found a bone. Okay. You know what? Let's just go... Let's walk home. So that poor Lucy can take care, take care of herself, she can take a shower. Oh, what is this? Learned the slap dance. I have learned the slap dance that the mountain people practice. Oh, the sound of palm slapping on souls brings back memories. Cool. Well, actually, everyone in the family learned that. But then I think we'll go to the marketplace to see if we can get some more souvenirs and some more stuff to go home. Alright, so Lucy is feeling much better, so let's go to the 
park or maybe to the market first yes i think i'd like to go to the market and then maybe we can go to the plaza just to see what it's all about the family has arrived at the market and i think we could have come here at the very beginning to be able to buy some clothes to to see this environment and have some kind of hiking and you know hiking clothes we can also buy some fruits and vegetables because I also think that you can live in these worlds, but I'm not sure. Uh, what other souvenirs can we get? Because I know of those two here, since we got one, we can also get some jewelry here. Pretty cool. But I don't think Lucy is all around, you know, very much interested in jewelry. So we can go and eat something. Can we maybe dig some more for some more stuff? Let's dig for treasure. How do you feel? She feels okay. She's getting a little bit tired. I think they will be sent home pretty soon. I don't exactly remember how this works. Uh, let's have Jack dig for treasure as well. Oh, he was playing with Josie! Look at how cute that is! These are animations that I really hope we'll get back in The Sims 4 one day. I don't even remember if these were in The Sims 3. They might be, but I'm not sure. She's so social. Josie just likes to meet new people. She's digging just next to the bear. That's a good idea, actually. Maybe they've hidden a secret there. Oh, look at that. What did you find? She found a rock. Great. Let's dig for treasure. Maybe there's something... There's something more deeper inside. I think if I ever have the family or someone from the family go back here, we'll find a bunch of holes everywhere. She found an imposing falcon. It has been placed in her inventory. Cool, that's actually quite pretty. He found a rock. We'll have a lot of things to bring back home from this travel. Or from this trip, I should say. Because I don't think we brought back home many things other than Heidi when we went to, to Tweaky Island. Oh, you found something else. She found another rock. Hello. Let's go and dig for treasure. Oh, I think Josie is really tired. Yeah, she's getting really tired, so... I think I'm just going to send the family back home as soon as Jack is done filling up this hole. Let's have Lucy maybe do the same with hers. And yeah, I'm just going to send the family back to the campground. This was actually working on his body skill. Hmm, I might... I mean, he's not really that tired. You know what, let's just dig for another time, you know. If this works in his, on his body skill, he could definitely use the... the body skill point. Oh, he needs to work on logic as well. And we haven't found the the map, I'm so sad. But we can go back to Tweaky Island, maybe with Heidi. That could be fun to go with Heidi since she was conceived there. Maybe she could discover the mysterious hut, that could be fun. He could give her this map as a legacy. He found the measure of sim wooden model. Cool. Fill in. I don't think we're going to find this map. Maybe we need to go to another destination to be able to find that map. But I feel like the mysterious hut in Tweaky Island is re really easy compared to the others to find. Jack has gained a point in cleaning. That was cleaning! Well, I really hoped it was body. But anyway, I'm going to send them all back to the campground. So it's the next morning, it's 7.30 in the morning actually, and everyone is awake. Except that both Heidi and Jack didn't really sleep this night. I actually sped up the time three, you know, by three times. And I really thought that they were asleep in the tent, but you actually... Not every time, but most of the time have to remind the sims to be asleep in the tent. So they're actually really tired and what I really wanted for them to do before they have to go back home was to go on another tour because this is something that Jack really wants to do and they've only been in one tour since they've been here. So I'm just going to have them take care of their needs. As you can see, Lucy just needs to use the bathrooms. Josie just needs to take a shower and, well, both Jack and Heidi need to sleep a bit a bit more. But as soon as both Josie and Lucy are ready... Oh, they're talking probably about Diego's death. Uh, but yeah, as soon as these two are ready, I'm going to have Jack begin the tour if we still have the time. Uh, let's ask actually what's cool here, just to know what's going on. But we can go into a logging expedition, a nature trail, this is the one we did, but we can go birdwatch. I think that's something that could be fun to do. Alright, so Jack just asked what's cool here and he just farted as well and made life the tour guide. Great, so need to burst some new moves at the parties, learn unique dances from the locals and wow your friends from your friends back home. Cool. Uh, but let's go and birdwatch and we've already learned a new dance. I think he learned another one as well in Tweaky Island. Your scheduled vacation time has, has come to an end and it's time to go home. You should check out now and make any last minute preparations for the part. 
You have now checked out of the campground, you can check back in if you would like and the shuttle has been dispatched and will arrive shortly. Oh, we don't have the time for another tour. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. I mean, they're all going to go back home, that's okay. We can come back here eventually. The shuttle has arrived, so the family will just be going back home, so I will see you there. The family has arrived back home, so now we can actually choose some vacation benef benefits. Uh, so we can have carefree, with this reward your sim, will, your sim will enjoy the benefit of an additional sl one slot. With this reward, you will be carefree in no time. Let's get this one for Lucy. Je ne sais quoi, give your sim that something extra special that other sims will notice. Romantic pursuits, I don't really care about this one. Industrious, with this benefit, your sim will be a star at the workplace. High job performance and therefore promotions will be much easier to achieve. This one for Lucy is perfect because she only has one promotion. She's actually one promotion away from reaching her lifetime goal. Productive. With this reward, your sim will want to spend less time slacking off after having such a good vacation. Their comfort, social and fun needs will take much longer to decay. Hmm, interesting. And what's this one? Refreshed? Everything is always easier when you get back from a great vacation. With this reward, your sim will have a bonus gain in skill building and badge building activities. Also, this sim will be able to complete homework faster. Oh, this one could be great for Josie, actually. And forgiving. With this benefit, your sim will be much harder to annoy. Any sim... I mean, we don't really have anyone annoying us, so let's go for productive for Lucy. For Josie, I want the refresh. Uh, the industrious and I guess the carefree one. For Jack, I really want the productive, industrious and I guess... Do we want the carefree or do we want the refresh? I actually would like to get the refresh one because it, it helps with skill building and he'll need to work on his body skill. As for Heidi, does she really need industrious? She could get the refresh one, uh, definitely the carefree one. Let's get the productive one. There you go. Some benefits have been applied to sims that can't be affected by them. Would you like to continue? Yeah? What? What was that all about? Is that a glitch or is it from a mod and I'm just corrupting my neighborhood? I don't know. But anyway, I'm actually going to end this part here, you guys. So today it's going to be Josie's birthday. So in the next part, we're going to celebrate Josie's birthday. She's going to be a teen. She wants to go hiking. That's sweet. Maybe they can go hiking before her birthday. Oh, look at that. She asked her sister to play. But yeah, I'm going to take care of the nanny. Oh, this is the the lady from the, the nature hobby. Oh, and it's for Josie that she's here. Cool. The natural world that surrounds you, Josie, has felt your call. For your dedication to everything around you, I wish to invite you to Peerless Park, where nature sims are always welcome, but it's not the most exciting park, park honestly, to be at. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to leave you here, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Thank you.